Hello everyone. Uh, I'm here chilling out in beautiful Hollywood, Los Angeles, reading an awesome book. Uh, the first of my three Melouis Essentials. Uh, the View from the Back of the Band by Chris Smith. Tells the story of Melouis' life. Uh, has many, many quotes from Mel himself. Uh, it has my one of my favorite things in the whole world. Uh, I'll show it to you. Transcriptions. Uh, could it be better? Uh, tells many interesting stories. For example, in the beginning, uh, many band leaders told Mel that they wanted him to play the, the kind of jumpy old school uh, swing beat. Ding, 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 ding. But he was very persistent and wanted to play the more beboppy approach with the wider triplet spaced right symbol. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. And as you know, Mel Lewis was uh, for sure the first uh, drummer who really took the bebop approach to the big bands. And uh, definitely one of the most important drummers uh, of the last century. So, the view from the back of the band even has an uh, afterword by John Riley who has Mel Lewis chair in the Vanguard Jazz Orchestra in New York uh, now. Um, cool, let's let's move on. Oh hey everybody! I was uh, listening to the second of my Mel Lewis essentials. Uh, the radio interviews that took place in 1989 between Mel Lewis and Lauren Schoenberg in New York. Uh, it's many hours of uh, uh, talking about the history of jazz drumming and it's so so awesome. Uh, every minute is, is interesting. A uh, lot of music example, it starts with Baby Dodds um, and actually in that chapter Mel talks about how he can hear that um, uh, Baby Dodds plays a solo on the uh, rims and he could hear that's wooden rims um, because many of the old guys prefer the wooden rims something that's come back today is really cool and they did that because of the sound and uh, kind of the solo approach that uh, Baby Dodds had was, was kind of a tap dancing approach, so he, he preferred the, the wooden rims. That's just one small uh, segment of this uh, huge material uh, they talk about. So I will give you the link both here and I'll also post the link to where you can download all these interviews. The history of jazz drumming, many hours, with Mel Lewis and Lauren Schoenberg from 1989. Okay, the last part of my Mel Lewis Essentials is the book uh, called It's Time for the Big Band Drummer. And this, uh, this book I haven't got with me, I have it in Sweden. Uh, it's really awesome because... Uh, it contains of uh, charts from the Mel Lewis Tad Jones Orchestra where on one line you see the chart and on the other line you see Mel Lewis uh, transcriptions of the fills and stuff. Uh, that's really cool, a really fun way to practice your big band uh, playing. And the first part of this book is actually where Mel Lewis um, describes his thought on, on setup symbol choice between uh, behind different kind of soloists and all kinds of, of uh, uh, interesting stuff so uh, yeah it's time for the big band drummer it looks like this that 
that's it everyone Melu's essentials uh, I think you will definitely enjoy all of this uh, as much as I do see you soon <laughs>